Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. This is an impromptu video. I was not making a video today. I'm actually working on a video that I tweeted out on Twitter earlier about Sinead O'Connor. That's gonna be my next deep dive. But let me tell you, I've been sitting on this for days and I wasn't gonna make a video about this whole situation with Meredith Doxberry and Bobby Brown and even Michaela because I just thought it was petty and I just thought it was stupid. But you know what? There's been some developments and I have to talk about it. So you guys, that's what this video was gonna be about. So if you're here for that, stay tuned to this video. There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. She's already the hair. Now you guys all know who Meredith Doxberry is, and if you don't, I'll give you just a brief synopsis of who Meredith Doxberry is. She's that really weird girl that's on TikTok that likes to pour foundation all over her face and then rub it in and then do her makeup. I mean, she comes out looking flawless, but it's not really a conventional technique that most makeup artists would use. I think it's very weird, very wasteful, and it's just ridiculous for her to use that amount of product. But who am I, girl? I'm just some guy on the internet with a camera with an opinion. Okay, so I have to give you a little bit of background information information, okay? So you guys know who Bobby Brown is, the makeup mogul, the person that has came out with all these different products that people love and use every single day of their lives. I believe it's this new business venture called Jones Road and it's like a whole bunch of different makeup products. They have like different sticks and creams and all these different things for your face. And it kind of went viral on TikTok in the worst kind of way because Meredith Doxberry has like 15 million followers over there. She reviewed it and it wasn't really a great review because she did it and applied the makeup the way that she normally would, which is not really the way the instructions indicate for her to put it on, which is very strange and weird. There's even people defending this in the comments. I don't understand how you could go along with someone when they're intentionally doing something wrong when the directions don't tell you to apply like a gob of makeup up to your face but you guys check out this mess Ch check this shit out um you're probably asking me meredith what is this well to be honest i'm not really sure but we're gonna find out so jones road came out with this and it's called what the foundation i think that's a fair name the hair's gotta go up for this bad boy i'm excited i got two shades light and porcelain you know me and my hands so let's just go right in it smells very strong Let's apply. I mean, I am the foundation queen. No, you're just annoying and you apply products the incorrect way. Shut up. So... I'm not sure what to make of this consistency. My hands can't... Um... What's going on here? You guys, I'm really trying. It's gonna be a no for me. I really wanted to like this though. So clearly she is not applying the makeup in the correct way for this product to work correctly for her. It says to use a very small amount. I get that it says foundation. The name of it's like WTF foundation or whatever, but Bobby Brown says that it's actually something different, that it doesn't work like a regular foundation, but it's like a skin tint. Everyone's been asking me when we're going to launch a foundation or a complexion product. Guess what guys, today's the day. Meet what the foundation what the foundation is not your traditional foundation i personally don't like traditional foundation because it's dry it's ashy it's cakey it actually makes you look older well this will answer all of your wishes it is so silky and so light you put it on it just glides on your face and you just look so good i guarantee you're gonna say what the foundation? But anyone with a brain the size of a pea would know that you're not supposed to just lather this stuff onto your skin and expect it to come out a way that's not gonna look messed up. So Meredith kept getting called out and there was people that were actually making video responses to her telling her that she was wrong about this product, that the product actually worked well for them and that they loved it. She just applied it wrong and Meredith just continued to be an asshole about it. Quite a bit of you had a lot to say about my last review. I'm all about second chances though, so let's give it another shot. I was feeling a full glam moment yesterday, but I guess this is a tinted bomb. Here she is. We're going in with a tiny bit. Okay, let's buff this out. I really don't see anything. Let's go in with more. This is the side with and this is without. To be honest, I really don't even see a slight difference. The smell is also very overpowering. Do you guys see a difference? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. 
and shrug off what people were saying and how they were critiquing her. In the comments, it was gross. Even Manny MUA decided that he was gonna reply. And I replied to Manny and I was pretty much like, how would you like it, Manny, if somebody got on TikTok and dragged your brand and use the product that you made in a way that is not supposed to be used or applied to the skin, how would you like that? And a lot of people started replying back to me. And that's how I ended up making this video today because somebody replied to a comment about something we're gonna talk about in a minute. But I wanna talk about Michaela first. Now you guys know I made this video about Michaela. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people were really uncomfortable. And I can honestly say after I've researched everything about Michaela, I do not think that Michaela is a genuine person. You can hate me for that. That's your personal opinion. I have my my opinion. I just think that the girl is fake and phony. I'm not saying that because I think she's mean or anything. I just think the way that she conducts her business and the things that she does and the prices that she charges are just ridiculous when she says that she is for the indie brand and that's why she collabed with Glamlight. There's a whole bunch of different things that I know that has not been made public about Michaela that just really leave a bad taste in my mouth. But Michaela chimed in on this whole Jones Road situation after Meredith Doxbury decided that she was going to make an ass of herself. And then Michaela turned around and did the same thing. What is this? Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure. You guys, I'm really trying. It's gonna be a no for me. The reviews for this foundation crack me up, man. People do not like it. <laughs> okay, I'm really not trying to be mean, but does Michaela not look like a clone of Jaclyn Hill? Like, what is going on here? There's been a very interesting response to this, to say the least. I gotta try it for myself. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this is a very oily foundation. I can see the oil sitting on top of the product. I'm gonna use a brush. I don't like to, I don't love to use my hands. I really try not to. Shade beige. You definitely have to mix it. I am so curious if I'm gonna like this. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna use a brush and I'm gonna feather it. Just so you know, I don't have any other products on my skin. I think I'm gonna have to use my hands. Yep. It's very fragrant. I don't like it. You guys, I gotta be honest. I do not like this. It, it doesn't look good on me. It feels like grease on my face. And I didn't use that much. It does not look good on me. And the scent is overwhelming. It's not for me. Now, I completely understand not everyone is gonna like a product. You get what I mean? But the thing is, in my opinion, I feel like Michaela may not have actually liked the product, but she didn't really have to act the way that she did. She was like, no, this product isn't for me. And she just ended the TikTok. She was replying to people pretty much saying, well, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it won't work for you. But she didn't like it pretty much. But in my opinion, looking at how Bobby Brown has applied this on her own TikTok channel, it would lead me to believe that all of these people that are applying these things, clearly Meredith Doxbury's doing it wrong. It says that you can use a brush to apply this, but I feel like Michaela might have put a bit too much because if you see this video here where this girl is applying this, you don't have to use that much to get what I think looks very nice and a lot of people were agreeing. You guys check out this video and how you're actually supposed to use the product. I know that there was a lot of talk with Meredith Doxbury as well as Michaela about the product separating. That's kind of normal with any kind of product. You just stir it back up and reuse it. You guys, I'm really trying. It's gonna be a no for me. I really wanted to like this though. Meredith, you have to try this again and truly give it a fair review. This is what mine looks like when I open it up. It did look like one of the colors you got um, had separated a little bit, but Jones Road has said that you can just restart it and the mixture should go back together. You're also only supposed to take just a little bit since it is supposed to be that no makeup makeup look, which I think is why it looked the way it did. I have not tried to blend it with a beauty blender, before, but I think my fingers and a dry brush just to blend it in at the very end work best. Please give it another chance. It deserves it. But I tell you all of that to get to this because I was literally just sitting outside. I posted a TikTok about the Jenny Jones video that I posted the other day and somebody tagged me in something and... <laughs> And it was Bobby Brown pretty much responding and shading the absolute fuck out of Meredith Doxbury, and rightfully so. You guys, check this out. So I always love learning new makeup techniques, and I learned one today. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't really work. <laughs> No, 
I don't really know if this is a situation where they have got together and they're going back and forth off one another. If they are, that's incredible. That's genius. And I hope that it works for them because I'm pretty sure that Jones Road probably did sell a whole bunch of shit after all of this stuff happened with Michaela as well as Meredith Doxbury. But if that's not actually the case and this is Bobby Brown's actual response on TikTok to Meredith Doxbury by like mocking her and putting this on her face, this is what I'm living for. This is what I would have loved to have talked about back in 2016 when I started YouTube drama because this right here is it. This is better than anything else we could possibly be talking about right now. This is the funny shit. This is why I got into makeup drama. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Do you think that this is like some kind of weird like marketing situation between Michaela, Meredith Doxbury, and Bobby Brown to get more people to buy this product? Because if that's what they're doing, I think it's honestly genius and they need an award for that. But if it's not, I just feel like this is Meredith Doxbury not really paying attention to products and using them the wrong way. And I think Michaela is then following suit of her. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you all have an amazing evening and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.